Hey, let me switch gears on you and just go to Volkanovski because you and the rest of the coaches did such a great job. Oh, my goodness, was he ever prepared. Islam Mokolchev said something to you in the cage, and <laughs> I thought he asked you, how do I finish a choke? Is that right? No. He, so his joke was... Um, oh, he was joking. So he comes, yeah, he comes up to me, and he says, you got to teach your boy how to escape back control. And I was like, well, you got to learn how to do a submission. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That was kind of... Oh, okay. So, so he was just, he was joking around. He, he for a minute, he was giving me a hard time. Yeah. Right, that's complete. Okay. All I right. think because I was I was staring it up a bit before because Volkanovski's so nice. Yep. And I was staring it up a bit. I was a bit scared that I might cross the line and get the Khabib. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah. <laughs> sure. You luckily, know. luckily, even if Volks won the decision, Islam was probably too tired to attack. <laughs> sure. To attack <laughs> sure. Him. But yeah, he seems, he's actually he's a pretty cool guy. I seem pretty yeah. friendly, All right. friendly afterwards. Yeah, well, that's great. That's I, I guess I saw that wrong. I thought he asked you, how do I finish that joke? Which would be fine. I mean, you come to a guy, the battle's over. I was just, I was just wondering that. But no, he was heckling you. Now I like it even more now. Yeah, it's actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it, it was all friendly after the fight. Like, we were in his locker and we were all talking and stuff. And then someone in the camp received the IV text oh, message. Fuck. And then things took a totally different oh, turn. Oh, that came that night. Oh, we wow. Learned we learned that straight afterwards because I believe the story was someone knew, someone used the IV, company, a friend of the camp had used it, and she told a very weird story about how fight week she showed up to a, uh, a random, like, rich Russian guy's mm-hmm. house, and there was these very weird circumstances where the guy in question only wanted half-filled IV bags. He wanted to put his own things in the IV bag, mm-hmm. which... Australia's pretty, like, their medical regulations and stuff, like, you can't get away with much down Sure. There. So I believe throughout the whole interaction, she kept calling her boss, being like, this is very unusual, are we allowed to do this? And they were going back and forth, and I believe ultimately she just, like, she did the task and then left a couple of IV, IV bags and left. So I believe that's all that's actually known that she didn't want to come out publicly okay. and stay there. I think they only learned about it because she had disclosed that. Sure. But it's a very interesting thing. Like, you would have to assume that if you're leaving a couple of IV bags, that they're being used after the weight cut, especially given there was only a 24 hour sure. rehydration sure. period. Sure. Yeah. But I'm not sure. I haven't spoken to many guys from the camp since then, so I'm not sure if there were any more developments, but it seems to have all been. Uh, that's right. It seems like it's died down. And, and that's a very fascinating one. I mean, even if there's a rule against it, somebody has uh, to ask for resolve. I mean, there, there has to be a complaint, and it doesn't matter. It's called standing in the, in the world of law. Like, let's say, for example, we look out the window and we see a guy hit another guy's car and leave. We can't find that guy and then sue him for hitting a different person's car. It's not our car. We don't have standing. I mean, I only bring that to you because someone has to complain. And, and though Hooker was taking some shots online and getting a lot of people worked up. Dan Hooker, what a great guy, by the way. I mean, that's how you back your teammate. I like everything about Dan Hooker. I, I, I'd like to hang out with the guy. Everything I see about him, and that's, that's the way you back a teammate. I thought that was great. Um... But I'll just tell you, it looked as though Volk didn't actually take a step further to say, hey, I want resolve. I want to hear it. I want to, I want to take a look at this thing. And I'm wondering why. Per- perhaps Volk had a conversation and said, hey, this could be a mess. Let this go. In exchange, win your next fight and I'll give you the rematch you're looking for. I mean, th- those things do happen where, you, where you've got to work a deal quietly just to keep people uh, – Calm, because that one really could have flared up, and that would have been a, a tremendous mess. I mean, what, what is Islam supposed to do? Yeah. Get get an attorney and fly back to Perth and go before the Australian Commission? It really could have been a mess. So whoever did reach out to Volk, if I'm right, and I think I'm at least a theme. I'm at least on the right trail. I think they did the right thing. Hey, whoa, let's let's get this resolved another yeah. way. Yeah. yeah, for sure. It's funny you said that, Hooker, because after the fight, when we were told about it, everyone was like, don't say anything. <laughs> Let's, <laughs> let's have a plan of attack. Let's think about this. But it was Hooker's birthday. So okay. Hooker at the after party. Starts, <laughs> starts hitting the beers. And then a tweet goes out. So that's as far as I know how it came publicly. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. This changes every vision I had in my mind. So the, the nurse did not contact Dan Hooker. Dan got this information I believe from, from someone. He just felt, I need to let the world know. 
I like it even more. <laughs> oh, so he was fully stirring the pot. <laughs> yeah. God, I like Dan Hooker. And Uncle Hall started hating. He's like, you know what? I'm going to tell you. Yeah, when Craig said it was his birthday, it's like, <laughs> you can stop right there. I've connected all the dots. Like, I, I, I can finish this story for you. He was having a good time. It was weird. You know? <laughs> In Australia, like the, the Perth Commission, the WA Commission, had all these crazy rules. Like, it was like, you weren't actually meant to cut weight at all yep. using sauna yep. anything like that hot mm -hmm. baths nothing so I believe like allegedly if any of the guys did actually cut weight here then mm -hmm. they weren't allowed to record any of that stuff so I think maybe part of the reason you want to push this or under the rug is because like obviously that's going to do horrible things for MMA in Australia sure if like there's such a massive scandal so sure the event. they hadn't been back to Perth for so long it is, it's colossally complicated. I, I have a different opinion than most people. So I actually debated this with Ryan Parsons, who's a doctor and a manager in Sparma. He really understands these things. And we have a different opinion. If you go and read the rule, like you'd start with the USADA rule. Or you could even go uh, to President Mazzulli's rules for, for the ABC, what we call the unified rules. Well, those both get superseded. The commission that would have the final say is the Australian Commission in this particular case, and they have a unique rule that you cannot uh, use an IV to rehydrate. Now, that is the intent. You cannot do this for rehydration purposes. The actual, le so Ryan believes that, that Islam cannot do it. If he did it after the win or before the fight, he's in violation. I say, well, not so fast, because if you read it, it states why you can't use this. You cannot use this to replace water. You cannot use this because you had a weight cut. You, it states all sorts of reasons. If you came in and said, I didn't do it for any of those. I did it for my psychological effect. Here's a letter from a psychiatrist that says, mentally, this was better for me. That's why I, I be, they, you can do it. So I, I only share for you where, where they meant to make it a rule that you could not do it after the way. That was their intent. That's not what it says. And that could be debated. So then it would fall down to another rule, such as USADA's, which you can use X milliliters. Yeah. Well, okay, then I use X milliliters. Then I do the same thing over here. And then I come back to this arm. I mean, it doesn't say how long you have to take in between. That's a big mistake that's never been tested. If, if you take it all in one set, if you pull it out and stick it back in, you reset that clock per the verbiage, which would ultimately be for a judge to decide. But like a lot of their rules, they're very poorly written. It's, yeah, it was, I mean, it, it was massive news at the time, right? Yeah. I was, yeah, I mean, I didn't know where it was going to go. I didn't really want to comment on it too much at the time. So I was just like, we'll just let this yeah. go. We'll let Hooker fight it out on Twitter. It was only massive, though, because of Hooker. Hooker put that out in 160 characters or less, and it was scathing. It, the way he did that, I mean, it was scathing. Shakespeare could have put out something more powerful <laughs> in 160 characters. And you said he's do, doing it part cocked on his birthday, man. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. Is he cool? Like I think, I think Hooker's cool. Am I oh, right? You know him. Yeah. All right. He's, yeah. He seems like he is. I haven't spent too much time with him because he, like the city kickboxing guys, I haven't spent a ton of time with. Mostly just with Bob's camp, and he would historically do part of his camp over with those mm -hmm. guys. But I have uh, visited them a few times. But yeah, Hooker's a good gotcha. time.